Ladies and gentlemen, X-Star have very kindly sent me an MX4 charger <laughs> and some rechargeable lithium ion cells. And there we have it folks, everything is now nicely on charge with the X-Star charger, it has a USB-C port on the back of it. And basically this is, this is like a universal charger, it's really quite a good little beast. Anyway, this video isn't about the charger, it's about the batteries. The good people from X-Star very kindly sent me two different batteries to try. These are 18650s, uh, 3500, one of them is made with Panasonic cells uh, from Japan, and the other one is sort of a local uh, Chinese cells. So I set up two IMAX B6s which are effectively battery analyzer tools and I have here then two batteries connected to the IMAX B6s and I've got them set so that all we have to do if I press these buttons together at the same time and boom there we go. So all of the settings uh, across these two are effectively the same. Uh, we're discharging the batteries at a rate of one amp. So uh, effectively the batteries should last about three and a half hours, something along those lines, maybe three hours at one amp at three volts. What we're going to do is we're going to record the amount of current that has been dissipated or the amount of current that's been used um, so that's going to be on a, on, a, on a little meter here and the amount of time that things have been going on and the voltage of the cells as well so uh, let's go ahead and let that test run and let's get back to it and perhaps we might need to run that test a couple of times just to sort of try and get a bit of an average of the results but let's go ahead and run this test and see what happens all right, folks, just to remind ourselves then, uh, the top device is the dark blue battery, the bottom device is the white and light blue battery. So let's have a look and let's see how we're doing. So the IMAX B6 has been discharging the top battery for 100 minutes and the bottom battery for 97, so about 100 minutes for both of them. The top battery voltage has dropped down to 3.3 volts and 1.2 amp hours approximately has been dissipated into the resistive load in this battery tester, battery charger, battery balancer system. Let's have a look at the bottom unit. So the bottom unit, 1.6 amp hours. So that's a good 300 milliamp hours more, uh, at less, slightly less time by a couple of minutes. The voltage is very similar, 3.28 as opposed to 3.3 volts. So yeah, it, at the moment, it's actually looking like the uh, light blue and white battery over here on the right hand side. It's actually looking like this battery is outperforming this battery ever so slightly. All right, folks. Well, the results are in. The white and light blue battery uh, produced 2,388 milliamp hours uh, over 143 minutes. Uh, when it got down to three volts, the uh, discharge stopped, which is what it was programmed to do. And this is the dark blue battery. And this one is showing us 2,624 milliamp hours. Again, stopped at three volts and uh, 240, oh well actually, you know what, this one has come up with time, which ultimately means that um, at 240 minutes, it stopped the discharge. Uh, but I would say that was really close to where it needed to finish anyway. 2.7 amp hours for the dark blue battery and a 2.4 amp hours for the light blue battery. So yeah, not bad. This one claims to be 3,500 milliamp hours. Uh, and this dark blue battery, it's written on the bottom here, 3,500 milliamp hours um, is claiming to be the same. So there is what appears to be a little bit of a difference. So what we're gonna do now is these two batteries are fully charged. We're going to swap them but we'll put the light colored battery in the top and the dark colored battery in the bottom uh, just to sort of see if there was any significant difference. All right, folks, so we've swapped the batteries around. This is quite interesting. <laughs> so uh, so the, uh, the dark blue battery, which is now at the bottom, I uh, finished at 1,772 milliamp hours, uh, which is uh, quite a lot lower than where I was expecting it to be. Um, and the 
white and blue, the light white and blue battery, I finished at 2,475 milliamp hours. Um, actually, it timed out again on this particular device, 0.3 amps. So, um, well, you know what I'm going to do? I've got here a Panasonic CGR 18650CE. This is like a, a standard lithium ion cell that's put in laptops. So I think uh, it's time to get this on charge and see how this performs. This is one of the NCR units rather than the CGR unit. And yeah, we've got, we've got nearly 2000 milliamp hours. We've got nearly two amp hours coming out of that battery before it hit three volts uh, on its discharge cycle. So yeah, um, mm, yeah, interesting. I couldn't help myself. I ended up getting into testing quite a number of these uh, green batteries, some of which are Panasonic and some are Samsung. Um, and ultimately, uh, we ended up with sort of around 2,000 milliamp hours each. So, um, yeah, not too bad, uh, but, but ultimately the X-Stars are still winning at the moment. Yeah, quite interesting, actually. Well, there we go then, folks. So I've done quite a lot of mucking around with various different batteries, uh, Panasonic's and Samsung's. Uh, the Panasonic's from X-Star, and then the Chinese lithium that's uh, in the these particular X-Star batteries. By the way, these X-Star batteries claim to have up to 800 recharge cycles, whereas the Panasonic's are rated for 500 recharge cycles. So yeah, interesting to see the results of all of these different tests here. Uh, the average out of all of this lot was probably about 2,000 each per unit, 2,000 milliamp hours each per unit, uh, and out of the these guys here there was one Panasonic battery that's a little bit duff there's about 1800 milliamp hours out of that um, but the rest of these guys were all performing reasonably well and I will say it looks like the Chinese batteries have just about got the lead there none of them are getting close to 3500 milliamp hours uh, when you stop depleting them at 3 volts you probably could drop that down to 2.8 volts but you're sort of borderline there so I'm quite happy to stay safe at 3 volts anyway as always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks ever so much for watching. These X-Star batteries aren't bad. That is the, the <laughs> that's what I want to say. But thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. Have a wonderful week and weekend. We'll catch you in the next video. Cheers and beers. Bye for now.